Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Ansel, and today we're going to talk about Thor, number two. Last issue I made a joke about um, that line for Ragnarok becoming true because Odinson, Thor Odinson in this new comic, uh, actually feels like he has become the god of hammers. And this issue takes that and multiplies it by 10, so it, it, it really builds upon that idea. It, Thor is actually using like a bunch of hammers, and <laughs> it's so fun and great to see that. Um, and, and also his personality, uh, working with, uh, is working very well with these like hammering stuff. And this has become a Thor iteration that is really great and is really a, a, a nice change of pace from previous Thor runs. I'm talking about Thor runs focused on Thor Odinson. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really hooked and I'm really interested and I'm really looking forward to it. The supporting cast is also really great and really helps bring out Thor particular personality, uh, especially Loki. I mean, Loki being like the psychic in all of this, the forced psychic in all of this, the forced completely untrustworthy psychic in all of this. And also we have a couple of animals. We have <laughs> the 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 goat that I have forgotten his uh, uh, name right now and Thori the dog I love that guy uh, he is uh, so fun and together with um, with Thor they made like a, a good team of Thor being the stray guy in most of most of the time and these surrounded characters uh, being the comedic ones so they make a good combo a good entertaining and fun combo uh, to read uh, on these pages. The story has taken us to the Nordic version of Hell, which is Hell, Hell, Hell. I'm not really sure how you differentiate those two pronunciations. But the thing is that they have taken us to where the, the Nordic gods, the dead Nordic gods, go when they die. Uh, so it is a clever way of using a lot of dead characters in a story without actually resurrecting them all all over the place like the, like Marvel usually does. Well, also DC, I mean, like, like comics usually do. And among these dead people that in here are not quite dead, uh, there are a lot of familiar faces uh, for Thor. And I'm not saying familiar faces in the sense that he has seen them somewhere, because they're actually family. <laughs> and that interaction, that dynamic uh, is really great. It's like when you, uh, meet your cousins, um, and in, in, in one of you have one of your brothers that really hate your cousins, but you love your cousins. I mean, it's a really fun, interesting situation that has been created in here. Now we are supposedly at the beginning of what seems to be a, a long story. I mean, it really looks like it's going to be a long story with different parts, different. Uh, I'm gonna call them chapters to it, uh, which is the War of the Realms. And we have started in this realm, and we have started to see some details on, on how this war is uh, working, on how this war is developing, and how it has been established. I find it sad that we have been thrown in the middle of the war, because it really seems that there are already a lot of factions formed, um, a lot of, let's say, territories conquered. Uh, so we have Thor and Loki and us uh, entering this war... Uh, in an advanced state, so that leaves me at least at least leaves me with a lot of unanswered questions that I would really like to know. Um, so I hope they address those um, uh, aspects and those characteristics of a world like this in the next issues. But with what we have been shown so far, I am satisfied, at least for now, because we have seen um, a very dire situation that is forming in this version of Hell, um, and it has some politics, some reasons, I mean, things got a little game of throny, things got a little got, mm -hmm. But it was really nice to see, so I hope that gets developed a bit more. So I have said a lot of very positive things about this comic book, but I have to say uh, that, that there was a negative thing, that, that, that there is, was a detail that I didn't really enjoy. It was like there was too much exposition. There was too much dialogue that made the issue feel really slow at times. It started fast 
it ended up fast, but the middle, let's say, I'm going to say the second act, I, I, if that applies in here, uh, was really slow, uh, it really dragged down everything else, so that really subtracted a lot of points for me. Uh, so I hope, I mean, I understand that right now they want to establish the situation, they want to explain us uh, as much as they can about what's going on, but I think they could have been done a little better, I mean, at least with a little less dialogue. Um, but some parts of it were, were actually really fun, but it's just that there was too much. So I will give these three hammers out of five. Um, I was initially going to give it four or four and a half, but that amount of exposition really, really dragged it down. So what are you thinking of this start of, of, of this new comic book on Thor? Comment down below and let me know. Click the like button if you'd like to see Loki being a psychic to Thor. And thank you guys a lot for watching. And I guess I'll see you the next time.